You're still here. And you get another chance this day to do better and be better. Another chance to become more of who you were created and what you were created to fulfill. Everyone in the world is capable of living outside the role or beyond the roles that they place themselves in, no matter what it is. You're not just a dad. You're not just a banker. You're not just a brother or a son or a convict. It doesn't matter. Like, everyone is bigger, much bigger, infinitely bigger than the roles they place themselves in and is capable of reaching potential greater than anything they could imagine. the life you desire. It's right there in front of you. But in order to achieve it, you must first see it, then believe it, and then you must graciously ask and train your brain to help you execute your vision. So when you start to focus and you delete distraction from your life and you start to get seriously invested in doing one thing staggeringly well and you practice that one thing over and over, a term to think about is mundanity. You do one simple, seemingly insignificant thing every day around your main skill, and it's very mundane, but small daily improvements over time lead to world-class results. Well, here's what happens in your brain. You start to isolate a single neurocircuit around that skill, and that starts to trigger a certain type of brain cell called an oligodendrocyte, which then releases myelin. Myelin is a fatty tissue that starts to wrap around that single neuro circuit related to that main skill you've been practicing and when myelin starts to wrap around the brain circuit what happens is you have accelerated learning times you can see more quickly heightened perception and you'll learn more quickly and that is really the quote unquote secret of the great producers it's not a result of some natural gift, but their daily practice, their relentlessness, and their grit, their work ethic, and their singular focus and sacrifice. A great life is built not by revolution. A great life is built by evolution. Small and steady wins the race. What you do every day is far more important than what you do once every decade. I want you to really think about that idea. What you do every day is simply your life in miniature. And as you live every single day, so you're crafting your life. What you do over the next hours is really building your future. And if you can just get every single pocket of 24 hours right as best as we humanly can, the rest of our life is going to take care of itself. So small wins matter. The scripture says we will eat the fruit of our words. You are planting seeds when you talk. At some point, you're going to eat that fruit. My challenge is make sure you're planting the right kind of seeds. If you want apples, you have to sow apple seeds. If you want oranges, you can't plant cactus seeds, poison ivy seeds, mushroom seeds. You're going to reap fruit from the exact seeds that you've been sowing. In other words, you can't talk negative and expect to live a positive life. You can't talk defeat and expect to have victory. You can't talk lack, not enough, can't afford it, never get ahead, and expect to have abundance. If you have a poor mouth, you're going to have a poor life. If you don't like what you're seeing, start sowing some different seeds. We may not realize it, but we're always feeding ourselves. What we watch, listen to, the people we're around, the thoughts we're dwelling on, that's feeding our inner man. If you go to lunch with people that talk bad about the boss, 
make fun of a co-worker, put down a friend, 